Oh, it's a little bit fucking scary, isn't it? Oh, but let me just say, if I can only please you guys for two minutes, that's totally fine. It's, uh, I know, I know. Then you'll know how my boyfriend feels, am I right? <laughs> oh, no, no, true facts. I should, no, let me introduce myself properly before I tell you about my premature ejaculation. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you all, no, my name is Gerard, but however, however you want to say it, it's totally fine. Like, my dad's Irish, so he always says, Gerard, that's how you say your name. You're saying your name wrong, Gerard. So fine, and then I lived in France for a bit, and everyone would be like, oh, Gerard, Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> Which was oh, so beautiful. Um, and then I've got German friends, very international, I know. I, vo I voted to remain. Um, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I do feel better. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, um, and to complicate things, um, well, they call me, well, they call me Gerhard, and then my Scottish family, so my mum is from Glasgow, which you wouldn't believe it with this accent, but she is Glaswegian. <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Um, can you believe it? And anyway, um, so all her big, rough Glaswegian family, they just call me, you fucking English puss. <laughs> oh, I knew we had homophobes in, yeah. Cheer for homophobia and Pride Month. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they don't call me that. Well, not to my face. I, d I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But a lot of people, people actually just, they think, okay, if I say I've got rough family from Glasgow, people think, mm, not with that accent, babe. Because I do sound like the sort of person that does, for example, you know, actually, the British Empire actually did lots of good things, actually. Like, that sounds really believable in this voice. That's a bit, oof. Um, but I, oh, no, no, we don't cheer for that. <laughs> don't cheer for the British Empire. Not in South London, baby, what are you doing? Anyway, <laughs> that's enough. Um, no, but anyway, my, my Uncle Stephen is like the roughest of them all. And, but he, he's so open-minded, because the thing about poor people is they know what it's like to be judged and that's that's just facts he'll say it himself because yeah it's true when i came out at age 18 he honestly said this to me he was like jared be yourself son because i know what it's like to be judged it's no fucking nice i've walked into a room and there's been a dozen people just passing judgment and i'm like uncle stephen they're called a jury <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Uncle Stephen. <laughs> but no, I, but I took him to, this, this is true, I took him to a drag show and he loved it. He was like, she's beautiful. Is that she, he, is that they, them, Jared? Is that, because they're beautiful. They're more beautiful than Teresa. Teresa is his wife. Um, <laughs> and he loved it, he loved it. He was like, Jared, the last time I saw a guy in a wig, he was sentencing me to six months in the jail. <laughs> And I thought that probably is the going rate for GBH. So <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? But I love that he's just so secure in his masculinity that he's just like, yeah, I'll go to a drag show because straight men, it's, it's not nice for you out in these streets, is it? Mm -mm. People have, no, yeah, am I right, boys? Right, us straight men, we got to stick together. Um, <laughs> no. What was funny? <laughs> No, no, but that you can't do anything, can you? There's so many rules, because if you deviate from what society deems masculine, you're automatic, you know, a bit fruity, you know? Yeah, am I right? You know, so many things you can't do. You, you can't like musicals, no? You can't carry an umbrella, this is what I hear. It's true, you can't, you can't. I, I had a straight friend that said, um, straight guys get wet, and I was like, I've seen that film. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, it's true, yes. Yeah, so you can't like musicals, you can't carry an umbrella, you can't call your stomach your tummy. <laughs> Not allowed. You can't, you can't, you can't have a fruity cocktail, even on holiday. You can't, you can't wear sun cream, even on holiday. You can't, you can't even meet up on a one-to-one -one basis with your best mate Jack from football and suck him off. <laughs> even on holiday. <laughs> it's so restrictive. I just want to say, just be like my Uncle Stephen, you know? Just be free. Order that cocktail. Because a pina colada is not a gateway drug to sucking dick. It can give you the confidence to give it a go, though. So, um... On that note, everybody enjoy your drinks, and I'll see you in the bathroom afterwards. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was five minutes.
Come on, my wrist is... Bad.